K-Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Fox is out there with Ellis. And it's a bonus in at the center. And for the Pelicans, in the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. And it's Ingram in at the three. Hey, Brent, what an exciting day we have for us here. Day one of the regular season is upon us, and we are ready to go. Kevin, really stoked to be with you here tonight. You could not ask for a better matchup. The energy is palpable, and it's fair to expect both of these teams are going to bring it. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. They traveled to Sacramento last time they faced the Kings and came away with a win. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. They had never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. He's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Here's Ingram. That one a little long. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. McCollum kicks to Ingram. The pass to Williamson. Plays it up and banks it in. Don't underestimate Zion's ability to work his way around defenders. Quick with the ball there and pretty shifty. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, playing that championship pedigree from Golden State. Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland. And one of the best people in the league as well. Ingram passes to McCollum. On the wing, Jones. Doesn't go that time. Nice D from Sabonis. They're one of four here to start. Looking to get it to a flow off its two minutes. There's 154 left here in the opening quarter. Fox passes to Sabonis. Nice steal from Valanciunas. He gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Ingram kicks to McCullough. Got a piece of it. Now, here's Fox. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. McCollum against Barnes. Nice move. And the basket by McCollum. Just reliable. He's just always trying to make the, the right play. The so the Kings call timeout. They're first. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right. They're just not playing their best. going with a whole new group out there. And we've got a moment now to look at the rebounding trend over the last few months for Jonas Valanciunas. In the last few months, the rebounding has sort of taken a bit of a dive for him, and, and a lot of factors could be the cause, but it's a trend that Coach would probably like to see him reverse. Kings have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Pass to Vizenkov. Here's Lyles. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Going inside. The shot no good by Duarte. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cheap with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Out to Nance. To the right side. Here's Alvarado. 
Rebound by JaVel McGee. The Kings trailing. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Vazenkov. Lee pass was put in just the right spot. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Alvarado with it. Here's Marshall. Misses in close. It's a tie game in New Orleans. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Four. The game. Four. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Guys, what stands out to you from the Pelicans in this one? I really thought that everything seemed to fall into place for them in that first quarter. Well, they're playing aggressive, unselfish basketball, exactly what their coach wants. On the court for the Kings as the second quarter gets underway. We've got Barnes. Mitchell is out there with De'Aaron Fox. Then it's Sabonis. And it's Vizenkov in the four-man position. And here's Fox, he'll bring it up for the King. And it's Fox with the jam. Pretty good, the dribble set that up, got some space and then knocked it down. The Pelicans trail. Brent, many noteworthy second generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Unbelievable, had a chance to play against his dad, who was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position, but DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Pass to Barnes. It's rebounded by New Orleans. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Six on the shot clock. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Valanchunas has that grown man strength. Fantastic at pushing through contact. And finish it. Some changes for New Orleans. Zion Williamson's checked in for Nance. Brandon Ingram comes in for Trey Murphy. And it's Herbert Jones in for Jose Alvarado. Keegan Murray's checked in for the Kings. Ellis comes in for Davion Mitchell. Barnes outside. Passes it to Murray. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, Sabonis fights through and around. That's the end one opportunity. It was not as easy as it looked. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Coaches say, GA, the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigator. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. Before any scuffle, it's worth asking to start in the first And that's what we should do in life normally, right? Back to Fox. The pass to Murray. Over Williamson. Murray, no good. Melvin's leading by three. To the middle. Williamson, the pass to McCullough. Kicks it out to Williamson. Outside, Jones. Orleans moving it around. Ingram attacking. And slammed up by Ingram. Ingram gets so much better when he gets that aggressive. Here's Fox. He picked up 24 points in their last one against Golden State. Ellis surveying the D. And the rejection by Valanciunas. How about that 7-6 wingspan of Valanciunas? That helps him erase the shot. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed and getting out on him. Valanchunas dishes to Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. And some pinball action out there as defenders just bouncing off of Williamson on that play. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. 
And here is Fox. Ellis outside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. For Sacramento, they have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt early. And in last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws, so those are numbers you'll be happy with. Free throw good from Ellis. So for the Pelicans, Marshall, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And Daniel subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Then for the Kings, JaVale McGee's checked in for Sabonis. Trey Lyles comes in for Barnes. And Chris Duarte subbed in for Fox. And Ellis drops them both. The Pelicans have gone five and six so far from the field in the second quarter. Daniels kicks to Jones. Fifteen seconds left to play in the first half. The ten footer. It's hauled in by the Kings. He had a teammate wide open for a better shot. I don't know why he still attempted that with the D right in his face. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. Substitution on the court. Just four seconds left in the first half. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And some good action to the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Elegance ahead. They lead by a bucket. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from New Orleans. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson, a competitive matchup for New Orleans in the first quarter. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. They gained a little ground there in the second quarter. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Pelicans? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game. And then try to give them a lift when they need it. Shaq, which and that'll do it for and as we get into this third quarter as we've seen so far neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet Zion Williamson with a strong contribution so far guys in this one in those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Yeah, we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively. But he's going to keep going at it. Front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at the five spot. And that's the group for Willie Green as we begin the second half. Fox passes to Barnes. Pocket six. Shoots from the high post. Elegance pull it in. Alan Trinus has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. De'Aaron Fox is taking his game to new heights. Coach Mike Brown says the exciting part about Foxy is he's just starting to scratch the surface of who will end up being in this game. His feel and skill set are both off the charts. His speed is unbelievable, and his ability to get his own shots at his size is second to none. Kevin? David, I agree. He is special. Hey, thanks for the report. The kick out to Fox. Tries again. Good on the shot. The end, Fox. Fox has got six points. Well, so critical for Fox to get the attention of the defense in this way. He's got to make them fear him. You know, Brent, here we are looking at the New Orleans Pelicans. It does seem like they are improving. What do you think? Well, they made the playoffs in 2022 and a play-in tournament in 2023. But there's something that they haven't had on the floor. And you feel like if that gets right, 
they're going to get right. Fox steady in traffic and a reliable shooter. Ingram picks to Jones. Mr. Williamson. Two minutes remaining. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's on Keegan Moore. First team foul. So right after a 16-year playoff drought, the Kings made the cut before losing a very gritty first-round matchup. What an unbelievable series, Kevin, that was against the Golden State Warriors. We've taken them to seven. Ultimately, they came up short, but they've got a ton to be excited about moving forward. And he knocks down the first one. And Zion, he's just got to do whatever it takes to stay healthy because when this guy is on the floor, he's a difference maker. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Larry Nance has checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Trey Murphy comes in for Brandon Ingram. And it's Jose Alvarado in for Herbert Jones. This Pelican front office has done a great job, Brent, finding some diamonds in the rough. Players that have now helped. Think about it, Kevin. They grab Jose Alvarado and Najee Marshall, both undrafted players. And those guys are key rotation pieces to change the tempo of any game. Herb Jones, a great steal in the second round, defensively comes in, creates havoc. I mean, a lot of really impressive finds for this front office. McGee against Nance. And it's Williamson missing. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Now what's the pass to Fox? For the lead. And another shot. It's rebounded by New Orleans. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the mystery. Those are all the little things about Memphis there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Yeah, you can throw it just about anywhere for Larry Nance Jr., and then he'll know what to do with it. Pass to Vizenkov. And checking out the numbers for De'Aaron Fox. Great showing for him last season. Last season, he chipped in about 25 per. Six assists and four rebounds. And it says a lot that when we see numbers like this from him, we aren't even shocked. He, he's that good. Yeah, we really have just grown to get used to his greatness, and that's the level for him that he's on right now. No good on the free throw. Uh, this is a young player who you do not want to send to the free throw line. Trey Murphy, just about automatic. Some changes for New Orleans. Marshall comes in for Zion Williamson. And Dyson Daniels subbed in for McCollum. And then for Sacramento, Chris Duarte is checked in for Ellis. And it's Mitchell in for Fox. He hits the second from the line. And last season, Greg, the Kings clinched their first Pacific Division title in 20 years. They repeated as division champs back in 02 and 03. Something they're hoping to achieve again this year as the Kings build off of their breakout season. New Orleans in the lead. Kicks it to Nance. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the third. And again, New Orleans has no luck. For Sacramento, they've gone an even 50% from the four here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Knocks it loose. And now here comes Marshall, leading the break. A shot's good on the assist by Daniel. Marshall's got his first two points of the night. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Daniel. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And we've watched three so far in this one. Pelicans lead by four. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. 21. With three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter what is still anybody's ballgame. 
So it's Sacramento. Four point game. On the floor for Sacramento. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Then it's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Vizenkov in at the three spot. And Fox gets it to go. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Ingram outside. From 13, Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got rebound number five here tonight. Down low to tie it up. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Here's Ingram. Uses the glass to finish the way. And the Pelicans lead by four. And gotta love the long, long arms of Brandon Ingram. Fox with it. And guarded by Ingram. Jones looking for an opening. Here's Alvarado. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Vazenko. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal, yeah, good job to take it right at the ball. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for New Orleans. I like this throwback approach they're taking. Look at the score. I presented shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And a change for Sacramento. Ellis is checked in. Now here's Ingram. He's covered closely. Nice D from Sabonis. Ellis against Jones. Pass to Fox. To tie it up. No good that time. Good D by McCollum. And so McCollum will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. The lead is two. Two minutes. Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Two minutes. To the paint. Here's Jones. That one goes. Count. Jones has got his first bucket of the night. Now I've seen Jones do the hard work for the big bucket delivering here for his team. Fox with it. Jones covering. 14 feet away. Elegant with the rebound. Alan Jones has got his fifth rebound in this one. To the inside. He's covered by Murray. Murray with the defensive effort. But when he's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. An easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. And it's Vizenkov missing. New Orleans leading by four. Jones, the best to Ingram. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Fox. Sabonis inside. He's covered by Ingram. And it's Vizenkov missing. Now for New Orleans, shooting the fourth quarter, not pretty down around 29%. And Ingram the bucket on the assist by McCollum. Ingram's got the lead up to six now for the Pelicans. Timeout called by the Kings. They're down by six. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth. present our New Balance player of the game, Jonas Valanciunas. Yeah, this before this from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Williamson is checked in for Trey Murphy. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Hey, thanks, guys. He was able to hear Mike Brown during the break. Now, he preached the importance of patience down the stretch. The coach said we're not going to get it all back at once. Let's take it one trip at a time. Make it simple. Make it easy. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 
good, aggressive basketball on that trip. Drawing the foul, converting the free throw, and then also narrowing the gap. And now we've got the intentional foul. First team foul. Two points here might be all the cushion they need. You would think so. This game is theirs for the take. And it's Ingram missing. No time to waste on this possession. Time is not on their side right now. They're aware. Hurry, no good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And C.J. McCollum just relied upon for the incredible leadership qualities he possesses. And that kind of respect comes right away when C.J. steps into the locker room. Yeah, showing off a really smooth stroke there. And that will add to their lead. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They trail by six. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ellis kicks to Murray. Fox deciding where to go with it. Sacramento again missing. And now they decide to foul attention. Second personal foul. Third team foul. And the first of two, no good. Mike right Breaker. We scan around the league to look at young guys who might be pillars of teams moving forward. You know, Herb Jones could be one of those guys. From deep three-point land. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. So we see the Pelicans get the win here. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good. You know, I, there is a better game. There is a worse game. But, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game. I'm fighting. And uh, my job is to take rebounds, set a screen. I'm doing that now. It's grunt work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back. All right, DA. Thanks again. And that about wraps it up. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.